Okay, we are online, guys. So, hello and welcome to another episode of Game Hammer Live Game Coding, where we're coding a text adventure game live on air. This is episode five. We're getting quite a way into the game now. And if you can hear any bangs, thumps, or other kind of weird noises that are unexplained, it's not a haunted house. Don't worry. My wife Jennifer is building a train set in the attic. Here she is. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, that's our cameo for the day. So let's get straight into the game. So let's bring up the game on the screen and let's get into it. Load episode one. Takes a while now because it's 20k. Because being an Amstrad CPC 464, well, actually, we're programming on a 6128 on an emulator Java CPC. But being that I wanted to be compatible with the 464 and the 664 without the memory expansions, we are limited to 48k of space. We're up to 20k already, but the majority of the game code is there, like the real workings of it. Hello, Patrick. And uh, hello to Yellow Belly as well. And my lovely wife Jennifer has turned up in the chat. So hi, Jennifer, too. So, like I say, we've got 20k done, but the majority of the game code is really there now. So all we're doing now is fleshing things out, adding in puzzles and things like that. So we've got 28k to do things. So, yeah, we should be okay. Let's run the game and see how we got up to so far. I haven't changed it since the last episode, so we've got our options on screen. Press S to start, I for instructions, or L to load a saved game. Well, I think let's just start the game and have a look at where we're up to. Because I remember we got a fair way through and I've actually got... Whoa, that was a weird noise. And we've actually got a walkthrough of sorts here. So let's quickly get down to it. So we need to go down. Get the core. Uh, go up. Go east. Go out of the ship. Then southwest. <laughs> Working on the presentation side a little, Zoe. Uh, I think we do need to work on it a little bit, but not just yet. We do need to work on some of the way the text is displayed. For example, this uh, here, the uh, full stop, that needs to be uh, modified, let's say. <laughs> because uh, a lot of this, it, it just it's not right, is it? So where are we? Went southwest. We need to search the wreckage. We've got a crowbar now, so we go west and west. Use crowbar on hatch. See, it's a it's a fully functional game at this point. Now, if we look, we can now go down where we couldn't before. Go down. Get junk. Drop junk because we don't need it. Put core in housing. And there we are. Now, exam lights. Could not see a light. So exam indicator. Fault indicator. Uh, main internal door and indicator lights were a sea of blinking red. The computer core error light was blinking red. So that's where we got up to. Oh, right, Patrick. He, Patrick's working on some presentation ideas. Well, that's good news. Uh, we could do with some better presentation. I'm thinking about uh, editing a font at some point in one of these episodes and uh, making a, a kind of um, kind of computery but modern, future modern type of uh, look for the fonts. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Right. We've got to where we need to be. So let's save. We're going to call it test. We've already got a file name called test, but never mind. So... We're saving the... It takes a while to do that, but we are now saved. So we've got the game saved as it is. So. That's as far as we got. But now we know that the door indicator lights aren't really working. Well, well the doors aren't working. The indicator lights are working. Let's go up again. We can go west. And... Uh, I was in what appeared to have been the sleeping quarters of the crashed vessel. Now it was less a place of rest and more a jumble of wreckage. 
broken bed frames, collapsed wardrobes and the wreckage of countless personal items were strewn across the room. But we have a spelling mistake here because it says strewn across the room. So we need to uh, stop there. The next thing we need to do is add in some extra puzzles. <laughs> I forgot the word, but we saved so we know where we are. So we need to add in some puzzles. And the first puzzle is we need to be able to get into the computer control room to sort the computer out, which means we have to sort the doors out. So what I'm suggesting is we need to be able to get into the storage room for the cargo as well. But mainly we need to go to the computer control room. So we need to be able to sort out uh, the issue with the doors. And I'm thinking it's going to be due to uh, several uh, wiring or fuse problems. So the biggest issue that uh, this ship has got, apart from the fact that part of it is just gone, is the fact that uh, several of the circuit breakers will have blown across the ship and some of the doors are sealed because uh, the computer be believes there's a there's a breach in the in the hull, which there is, but it's believing that in the wrong places. So it hasn't sealed the hull on the severely damaged area of the ship, which is to the east of where we've been going up and down that hatch. Instead, it thinks that the computer control room and the transporter room are both breached when they're not. So we need to sort that out. So let's have a think. Can we put some? Uh, I think we can uh, go for, let's bring up the uh, map. So we've got uh, in the middle here, I'll, I'll circle it on the screen so that the, the mouse comes up massive. We've got the wrecked Starship Corridor here in the middle. Uh, if we go to uh, the room next to it, severely damaged area of ship, I think we should do something in there. For example, um, there should be a wiring fault that we can fix. And we're going to fix it with the multi-tool. Now the multi-tool was the first object we put in the game and so far we haven't done anything with it. So let's go and do that with the multi-tool. So we need to start putting in some extra code and we need to bring in another object. So if we bring in, yeah, if we bring in object, no, we don't need to bring in an object because we're not using GAC. We don't need to set any val, any, uh, files or anything like that. So we need to first of all look at the um, the rum code and fix that spelling mistake. Let's do that first before we forget again. Got the computer room there. So we need to be down to the sleeping quarters which means we're looking for room 8. Now here we are. Line 400 and, uh, 440. There we are. Edit 440. Well, items were screwed across the room. There we are. So we fixed that one. So we list uh, from 400 to, let's say, 1,000. And we'll find out where the next one is. So... Appeared to be what uh, appeared to have been sleeping quarters, and in the corridor of the crashed vessel to the east, the corridor was gone. So next, okay. So from line four hundred and seventy and four hundred and eighty, that's where we need to be. Yes. So that would be room ten, severely damaged area of ship. So, oh, Patrick, thanks. You've uh, sorted the font. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, we've got here four hundred eighty and four. 170. I want to need, we're going to need to put in an extra piece of information. So, no, we don't. I'm get sorry, uh, sorry, this is creaking. Um, Patrick, you're doing a GAC tutorial video. I've already done a GAC tutorial video part one, I never finished the second part. So, after I finish my uh, re-election campaign, which uh, which is on Thursday, by the way, <laughs> the local elections, if you've got local elections in your area in England or Wales, please do vote. Because we have a horrible feeling that turnout's going to be quite low this year due to all the various things going on. So if you have got elections, please do vote. We're working really hard. But uh, 
after that's done, how about we collaborate on the second part uh, of the gag tutorial that I was doing? Because I'd, I'd love to do that. But, uh, right, what I was thinking of doing, which was editing the room descriptions, that's not actually going to be the way, the way to do it. So if I save episode one at the moment, because we've made a spelling uh, change, the way that we need to do this is actually via flags. We've done the flags before, and flags became a big thing last week when it turned out I've misspelled pretty much everything. So if we put in fla flag number six of uh, wiring fault one, actually, because uh, we're normally using it as zero and one, um, let's have it uh, as multiple things. Zero is not all faults. Okay, we're going to have two faults to fix. So I've got, I've just set up a flag, uh, flag number six, I've written it down on my notes, will be a wiring fault. So we have uh, a wiring fault uh, set to zero by default because all the flags are set to zero as a fault. And that's going to indicate all of the faults. So then we can set it to one for um, a wiring fault of the wiring fault in room 10 is fixed. And then we'll have uh, set it to two for all of the faults are fixed because there'll be two places that you need to do this. So if we have, uh, if we have it so that uh, we do a check whenever you come into the room, um, room 10 of a wiring fault then whenever you come in we can add something to this to the description which should work out quite well for us but this fault will only show up if there's power because uh, otherwise it yeah yeah this will work this will this will work so we need to go to uh, lines 30 20 to like 4000 uh, and have a look where we are. Here we are. So on line 3020, it prints the paragraphs of the uh, description. <clears throat> yeah. And then it says what the exits are. So if we put in a line 3025 of if flags percent of um, spare power core in housing three if flags three equals uh, one because the power core is in the housing and flags percent six equal six is equals zero yes then print print what wires sparked hang on no um hanging wires sparked In a in a loose junction box. Yeah. If current that would say it all the time, wouldn't it? Room percent equals ten and Yeah. So let's run that. Load a saved game. Test. The file name is test. So if we load that in. Okay, here we are. So we can go exam housing. Spare power cores in there. We go up. And we go east. There you are. Hanging wires sparked in a loose junction box. So if we quit, yes, we want to quit. 
and S to start, we can now check. Okay, see you later, yellow belly. We go out and uh, southwest and west. It doesn't say anything. There we are. But we do want it to say something. To so, so less than 3,000, 22, 3,050. Let's add in 3,024. I'll add in another one. If current room percent equals 10 and flags percent 3 equals 1 and flags percent. Actually, no, flags 3% equals 0. Then print, print. Loose wires. No. Wires hung from a loose junction box. Because we want it to be there, don't we? We want three zero two three. No Siri, no Siri. Did you accident? Three zero two three. Um, if current room percent equals ten and flags percent three equals zero and Flags percent six greater than zero, then print, print. The wires in the junction. This junction box were fixed firmly in place. Let's do that. So what we've just done there is uh, change the marker so that uh, it doesn't... Oh, actually, do we... Let's just actually remove that. We don't need 3,023. We don't need it to say anything once that's sorted. We don't want the player to think they've got to do anything more. So... Um, when there's no power, the wires will just hang there. When there is power, they will spark unless we fix them. So, how do we fix them? Well, we need to know what the rest of the game loop is, don't we? Let's see. Uh, no, we don't need to go back and list. Uh, 3190 to 4000. See where we are. Sonic screwdriver. Yes, Patrick, kind of. Right, the use command is uh, 10450. Right, we need to now go to 10450 and have a look at what is there. A more a joke comment, so uh, it might be be Patrick but we do have something that is kind of like that isn't it okay if right, B string got a lot of code Okay, uh, one zero seven seven nine. We're going to move the uh, yeah, one zero five one zero. We now need um, if left string a string, comma. Nine equals multi tool and uh, 
right string, A string, five equals wires, then go to one zero five two zero else good one zero five three zero one zero five two zero if current room percent equals ten and flags percent six equals zero then flags percent six equals one print I prepared the wires I prepared the sparking wires using the multi tool. Else print. I did not see the wires. I did not see any wires. Go to 3180. And we need that up here as well. Go to, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> 3180. Okay. 10530, go to 3180. No, 10530, print. I did not see any wires. Let's see, sorry, I did not understand. Go to 3180. So that should work. Right, we've just uh, we just sorted out the first of the door issues. So sparks should make it possible to uh, sort this out. So uh, if we load, I like the way we can load because it means that we don't have to go through everything again. Although it does mean that we're in the wrong place with the without the tool. What we've just done won't work. It will kind of work, but it won't fully do what we need it to. East. Can we see the sparks? Hanging wires sparked in a loose junction box. East. We haven't finished with the wires yet, though, of course. Go into the mission, into the ship. West. Down. Get multi-tool. Out. Southwest. West. Use tool on wires. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. List one zero four five zero two. 11,000. What have we got wrong? Oh, that's what... That, I see what the problem is. We've done the wrong code. And it's an easy mistake to make, so let's get to where we're looking for. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. Edit one zero five one zero. We've reused the wrong bit there, so it should be B string there and uh, B string here because we took the use command off. Uh, 
one zero five two zero, and we haven't actually checked for the co for uh, whether we've got the mach the thing. Um. One zero five one five. We need to put in an extra thing. If um, obj object position of one equals minus one, or object position percent of one equals current room percent. Then go to one zero five two zero. Else print. I did not have the multi tool. And go to three one eight zero. Otherwise, we can uh, fix this without having the multi tool in our possession. And that's what we missed out last time. So now it should work. One zero five zero zero to one zero six zero zero. I need to see the rest. Mm -hmm. That should work. Right. That should that should say do that. Episode, save episode one. We've just finished the first half of a two part puzzle because we need to go to another location and fix. The other... No, I don't want to create a disk. Save. Okay, yeah, still on 20k. We're doing all right. So if we run this now... Load. Test. Go up. Go east. Use tool on wires. I'm sorry I didn't understand that. Why does it not understand that? That should work. Are we putting in an extra piece of code earlier on to not do this properly? Um, <laughs> remember last week when we had all these problems because I'd added in an extra thing where it uh, just did something that we didn't want it to eventually. I think that's where it is. Sorry, I did not understand that. But that's not what we're... That's not what it's saying, is it? So, we've got a problem. Uh, there it is. Right, one zero four eight zero. We need to remove, otherwise it's not going to do anything. Yeah, one zero four eight zero. Just take that out because all it's doing. Edit one zero four eight zero. Just put rem. We need to take that out for a moment because that I think is what's doing it. We had a piece of code that was at the end of the uh, stuff that we had before which stops anything else being uh, checked. So let's load a save game. Use multi-tool on wires. Hi, Anthony. Uh, things are going well. Syntax error in 10490. Oh. But we haven't changed this. Now we have a bit of an issue. Uh, we're getting a syntax error in a line of code that we haven't changed. So, 10490. If the current room is 17 and the position of object 7 is minus 1, then go to 10499. Else, 
So. If current rum is 17 in object position of, and the position of object 7 is 17, then go to 1, 0, 4, 9, 9, else. If the current rum is less than or greater than 17, ah! Here we are. Then. Save episode 1. Patrick says we're missing a colon between less than or greater than 17 and pen 3. No, I think it's a then. I'm pretty sure it's a then because it's an if-then check. And we didn't have a then. So let's uh, see how this goes. Uh, save. Run. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Load. File name is test. Use multi-tool on wires. I did not have a spare power core with me. Well, no, we don't have a spare power core. Um, we've got an issue now. Okay. Yeah, we won't have a spare power core. Why is it saying we're talking about power cores? We're not talking about power cores, we're talking about multi-tools. List ones. <laughs> we're going to have one of those weeks, aren't we? One zero four five zero to one zero five five zero. Couldn't see it, so let's put the other there. Oh, I see why. Yeah, we can sort this out. Okay, what we what we have is we're missing. We've uh, got a bit of an error with a check, so it's not a problem. Edit one zero four nine one. We need to make sure that we're still talking about the power core. If left string b string four, I think equals core. Then else and edit one zero four nine nine left string B string comma four equals core and we just need to put in some checks and make sure that they're the right checks now that I'm thinking about it. So list 10450 to 10500. Yeah, B string equals 4. So that's okay. We're still talking about the core. So save episode 1. We just needed to make sure that uh, the check, the if checks we're using actually relate to what we're talking about otherwise it's going to give us the wrong errors so I think we've sorted that out it's just one of those things with coding it's sometimes you have to be very very precise to make sure the sequence works properly and we weren't on previous weeks so while we're in the core uh, use wires use uh, multi-tool on wires no I did not see any Right, we have an issue here because I can, apparently I can just use anything on the use command and it will put the spare power car into the housing, even though we've already done that in this version of the game because we've already saved. So, we're going to be here a while. And we need to make sure this works. So, I put the spare power car into the thing. So, let's put, look for the file that says that. Look for the line, even. Here it is. Huh. 
<laughs> right, so edit one zero five zero zero. If left string b string comma four. No, 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 no. So we need to be able to jump past this particular thing. We have, yeah, we have an issue here. List one zero four five zero to one zero five zero zero. I need to see what's above that. Okay. Um, 10499. <sighs> List 10510. Yeah. Okay. Um, edits one zero four nine nine. We need to be able to jump over line number one zero five zero zero if we're not talking about the power call. So, um, else if left string b string comma four equals core, then go to one zero five zero zero. Else go to one zero five one zero. That should do it. It's it's not the best uh, piece of coding ever. It's just adding in an extra check that I don't think we should need if I'd planned this properly. But we are doing this piecemeal. So let's hope that will do it. So basically, if we're still talking about the core and using the core, go to line 10500. Otherwise, jump over that line and continue uh, checking what we're looking for. So that should work. Hopefully. Use multi tool on wires. I did not see any wires. Now we're getting somewhere. East, uh, we're now in a run with the wires. Use multi tool on wires. I could not see the power core housing unit. We are going to have another one of those weeks, guys. <laughs> and all we're going to be doing is bug checking the use command, it seems. What about if we use wires on multi-tool? Could not see the power car housing unit. Oh, isn't this wonderful? Okay, we need to sort out the power car housing units. Pen 3. Let's make this these nice little look at. List 10450 to 1... Zero five five zero. Right. Couldn't see the hatch. Okay. Um we're looking at line one zero four nine zero. I I see what to do. Edit one zero four nine zero. And left string. I'm gonna run out of space again on this line. Four. Core. Okay, left string A string equals core, so we're still talking about that. It's power core housing unit. That should do it. We're going to run out of space in some of these lines, and it's going to be a bit of an issue for our bug checking. File, drive, uh, save, save it on CPC, Java CPC. Right, this should work now. 
load. I think we've got all of the issues. I think. We're probably going to end up having this a lot. So, um, we've got up. Use multi-tool on wires. Did not see any wires. So, got the wires. Use multi-tool on wires. I paired the sparking wires using the multi-tool, but we're not holding the multi-tool. So how did we do that? Pen 3. <laughs> so, we've... Right, we're starting about the multi-tool now. Okay, so we have a... <laughs> right, you know that little check we put in earlier on to make sure we were holding the multi-tool? Uh, well, before we put that in, do you remember that line that we, of code that we put in that jumped over where we've put that check? Because that's what our problem is here. So if we go to uh, edit 10510, and change the line go to 10520 to go to 10515 and save that episode one that should fix that we should now be in a position where we can actually move on with the game let's hope so anyway we've had a lot of bugs that we need to fix but we got through this pretty quick i'm uh, i'm not too unhappy about that after all we need to be able to do this stuff and the the uh player needs to be able to get through this without uh, getting into glitches use multi-tool on wires did not have the multi-tool okay use multi tool on wires did not have the multi-tool use multi-tool on wires did not have the multi-tool so we're getting there we'll need to change the uh text color but we're getting there go back in the ship go west down use multi tool on wires I did not see any wires get multi tool took the multi tool east out southwest west Right, the wires are sparking. Use multi-tool on wires. I repaired sparking wires using the multi-tool. So if we look now, it doesn't mention the wires because they are fixed. This is good. So, we've got there now. We need to change the colours on the text because that's... We, we need that to be right, basically. Edits. Where are we? One zero five one five. So we need pen three and then print. Edit one zero five two zero. Pen three. Actually, I'm going to change the pen before that because we've got two print commands there so we can save some space by putting pen 3 there to change the pen colour edit 10530 pen 3 sorry I did not understand go to 3180 right save save 1 we're getting somewhere now we've got that so we need more sparking wires somewhere else And uh, let's do that by going back to uh, 3020 to 3050. Let's have a look. Yeah. OK. 3021. We want to put these in the uh, sleeping quarters now. We need some more sparking wires. Uh, 
but these wires won't spark unless the other ones have already been fixed because that's how the uh, wiring will be on the spaceship and i don't know why i didn't design the spaceship i did design the spaceship but i didn't design the spaceship so i don't know why the wiring works in this way but it's clearly in serial so the wires will spark in one position then in another right what have we got here Okay, so if we're in uh, room 8, because that's the sleeping quarters, so let's uh, just quickly nick the code that we've already done. Three zero two two. We're going to change it now. So, edit three zero. I've just copied the code that we already had because I know it works. So, current room is now eight and flags equals one. Then, print, print. Uh, no, and flags three. Yeah. And That's what we want. Uh, wires hung. No, we're going to have loose. Sorry, I, I'm just trying to think on my feet. Loose wires hung from a loose bulkhead. You want some? They have it. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Loose wires hung from a loose bulkhead on... from a, from a loose uh, deck plate. Ceiling plate. Loose wires hung from a loose ceiling plate. Uh, edit 3022. Current room equals 8 and flags for flag 3, which is uh, spare power core in housing, equals 1 and flags percent six which is the wiring fault one equals one for the first room done oh i've already got it there flag six equals zero flag six equals one then instead of hanging from Loose wires sparked as they hung from a loose ceiling plate. Yes, Patrick, why don't we replace it with damaged ceiling plate? So let's do that. Damaged ceiling plate, and we'll add it uh, 3021 from a damaged ceiling plate. Save. Episode 1, because now we've got that set into the right place, do the save, <coughs> yeah, two loose, uh, two, using the word loose twice didn't work, okay, from a damaged ceiling plate, so, now we need to go back to the use command 10500 to 10600 let's have a look at what we've got okay one zero five four zero if left string b string comma nine equals multi-tool and right string b string comma five equals wires then 
go to 1054545, else go to 10550. No, 560. 10545 if object position 1 multi tool equals minus 1. Why am I doing all this? What? No, remove 10540. We don't need that. Okay, um, now I do need that. I'm just, uh, hang on, right, we're going to have to go through some of the code again that we've already done because this is just how it is. 10545, it's basically the same code that we already had. If object position is minus 1 or object position if one is current room, then go to one zero five five zero. Else, uh, I did not have the multi tool. Yep, because we're done. Okay, one zero five five zero. Yep. So pen. Three. So we've got to do the same thing and uh, change some flags. If current room percent equals eight, because now we're in the other room, and flags percent six equals one, then flags percent six equals two. Print. I had the sparking wires using the multi-tool go to 3180 else print I did not see any wires go to 3180 yeah 10530 pen which is just sorry did not understand just need to keep getting that error checking bit in there. So, one zero five six zero, which is what we actually wanted that to be, not one zero five three zero because we'd already done it. Three one eight zero. So save episode one. So we should now be in a position where we have fixed the two door sparking issues. File drives save. So let's run the game and have a look around. We should just have loose wires. If we start the game, we'll have loose wires. Yeah. Out. Southwest. West. Uh, wires hung from a loose junction box. That's great. If we go into the sleeping quarters, nothing. Nothing is there. So we've got an error straight away. Right, it's okay. Load, test. So we've put the, on uh, the test save, we've uh, got the power running again. So let's have a look in the bed and sleeping quarters. Loose wires hung from a damaged ceiling plate, but they're not, right. And hanging wires sparked in a loose junction box. So, pen three, we need to change Three zero two zero to three zero five zero. We need to change the code for. There we are. If current room is eight and flag percent three equals one, then say loose wires hung from. A, yeah, that that's not right. Um, edit three zero two one. Flags percent three is less than two. We want to see loose wires hanging. No, edit 3021. Actually, no, that is right, if it's 011. Right, episode, save episode 1. So, we want to be able to see those wires hanging in the sleeping quarters, regardless of whether we've fixed the other 
uh, wires. So let's run that again. So we just need to make sure this works and that the, the stuff is right. Otherwise we can't go on because the player won't know what's going on. Southwest. West. So there's the wires hanging out in the damaged part of the ship. And the wires are now hanging from the damaged ceiling plate. Load. Test. So load it in. Up. West. Loose wires hung from a damaged ceiling plate. There we are. So the wires are there. We should really be able to uh, fix them in either order, shouldn't we? So, we need to... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna. We're just gonna put in a separate uh, thing. So flag seven, wiring, fault. Two. So pen three. We need to do this. One zero five zero zero to one zero six zero zero. Where's the second one? Where we're in the uh, second room? Edit one zero five five zero. Yeah, current. If we change that six to a seven, and that zero to a, that one to a zero, then change the six through seven and the two to a one now we're okay let's three zero two zero to three zero five zero where are we looking zero and it three zero two two hi JJX uh, where are we uh, flag three equals one and flags seven equals zero okay so now it's two separate flags for dealing with the wiring faults which means that uh, we have two different checks we can now do when we examine the fault plate, the fault wall. Okay, uh, yeah, we can do this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we can do this. List. So we now need the examine code, which is at 10050 to, one, to 11,000. Let's just find where it is, where we're talking about. Fault wall. Indicator, fault, wall. Oh, there we are. Um, Edit one zero one zero four indicator of fault or wall or B string equals faults and okay. eleven thousand. Okay, list eleven thousand to twelve thousand. Let's see where we are. Fault indicator code. Flags three equals one. That's the spare parkour in housing. Uh, ah. <laughs> okay. Um. Right here we are. The uh, main internal door indicator lights were shining green. If flag four equals one. OK, 
ไหนสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสด
return. Okay. Episode one. Right, what I've just done there is a quick check. So if uh, flag six, which is wiring fault one, equals one, as in it's fixed, and flag seven, which is wiring fault two, equals one, as in it's fixed, then flag four, which is door fault indicator or door faults, uh, equals one, which means that they're fixed. So in print, I heard a hollow thud resonate through the ship as if the emergency bulkheads had retracted. Then return. Back to where we've uh, go subbed from. Else just return. Because it's not right. There is one more issue though. Uh, edit 12010 because I've just realised that we can't just fix that. Um, go to 12020 else return. So we'll one zero two one two zero two zero even because we now have to set some of these doors as open so um okay exit percent we now need to set the exits for um room four and five exit five equals nine exit percent for room nine exit one otherwise we can't actually have the doors open equals four so that that goes up exit percent for room nine exit five equals 13 exit percent for room 13, exit 1, equals to uh, 9, exit percent for room 13, exit 3, equals 14, exit percent for room 10, exit 5, equals 14, then return. That should mean we can get in and out of all of the locked doors. Yes, because if we go back to the map, we have uh, here all of the exits where I've got uh, the lines or the dashes through all of the uh, flowchart. That's where we've had doors and the doors were closed. So now we just opened them. So we've just saved that. Oh big is this file now while I uh, quickly save it onto the hard drive. 21k. Doing alright. So, run. Let's load the uh, test because we're doing okay here, but we need to go and get the, the multi-tool because we didn't get it before. So, the power's on but we still can't go north and south from that room. We still can't go south from that room. The hanging wires are still sparking. So let's go back into the ship and grab the multi-tool. I'm just rushing through this. Right, here's the multi-tool. Get multi-tool. Took the multi-tool. Hi, old school gaming. How you doing? Thanks for joining us. We can't go south. We have to go out. Thanks for joining us. Uh, southwest. Okay, we have wire sparking. Use multi-tool on wires, prepared to sparking wires. We'll go west again. Use multi tool on wires. Did not see any wires, but they're there. Okay, we can't f fix those wires. We'll have to work out what's going on there. <laughs> because we're not in the right room for the check, and that's, yeah, pen three. Looking at the wrong code. It's the use code one zero four five zero to one zero 
600. We need to check this. Uh, where is the multi tool uh, bit? Someone got a call. Uh, multi tool, right here we are. <laughs> Have I joined another bug? Yeah, but it's only a minor one, uh, old school gaming. Here we are. Edit 10520. Else, we just need an if check. If current room percent less than or greater than, because we're looking for 8, then else. Go to one zero five four zero. Just move. What we've just done there is a quick uh, check to make sure that if we're in room ten and we're trying to do something with the wires, and uh, yeah, we need to just make sure it doesn't give us the wrong command. Uh, we need to do the same for the other bit as well. One zero five two zero to one zero six zero zero. Edit one zero five five zero. One zero. Zero five one zero. That's where I need to go. Right. One zero five five zero. Okay. We just need to do. Episode one. Very quick uh, thing there. We need to make sure that we can actually use the uh, second. Uh, uh, we need to be able to fix the second set of wires, and we couldn't before. So we're going to start the game again, and just go through the whole thing. Down. Get multi tool. Get core. Spare power core. Up. East. Out, southwest, search wreckage. Got the crowbar. Wires hung from a loose junction box. Use multi tool on wires. I repaired the sparking wires using the multi tool. Use multi tool on wires. Paired the sparking wires using the multi tool. I heard how a thud resonate through the ship as if the emergency bulkheads had retracted. What system is this going to be for? Yes, it is the Amstrad Old School Gaming. And uh, high yellow belly down. Use multi tool on. No, you. On hatch. That's not going to work, is it? Sorry, I did not understand. Use crowbar on hatch. Down. Get junk. Drop junk. Use core on housing. Sorry, I did not understand. So that we'll have to check that. Uh, exam faults. Fault indicator. The main internal door indicator lights were shining green. There we are. So we we have a couple of issues that we need to sort out. Save. File and test. So we have a couple of issues that we need to sort out. Fair enough, OSG. Uh, the first being that uh, the moment we repaired those wires, the bulkheads retracted. But there wasn't any power to the systems, so it shouldn't have happened. So, we need to do two things. 
12,000. Line 12,000 is the uh, door repair check. I'll just write that down. We need to do two things. We need to check the doors are, the wiring is repaired at the time the power comes on. And if it is, then uh, they can, uh, the, the, fall, the doors can be fixed uh, automatically because we already fixed the wiring. We also need to change something because the doors can't open unless the power is on. And when we repair the wires, we can't call them sparking wires because there's a possibility that we're repairing them before the wires have any power going through them. So we need to make some changes, but we're getting somewhere now. This is going really well. 10500 to 10600. Uh, uh, so 10520 and 10... Five five zero, and at one zero five two zero. I repaired the wires using the multi tool. Edit one zero five five zero. Just taking out this barking line. Okay, this that's done. Let's twelve thousand. To thirteen thousand. Edit one two zero one zero and uh, flag three. Equals one. So that will now only work when. Uh, Now we need to look at the power core code. So list one zero four five zero to one zero five five zero. There we are. Edit one zero five zero zero. Remove the object position. Go sub twelve. Oh, one zero five zero one. Go sub twelve thousand. Uh, OSG says, uh, did I code back in the day or have I just learnt this for yourself? It's a bit of both, actually, OSG. Um, let's bring this up. It's a little bit of both because back in the day, I used to make very basic, <laughs> pun intended, basic programs. I wrote a text, uh, a teletext simulator in basic. I typed in a load of stuff from Amsterdam Action and modified stuff like that. I remember making a really highly modified version of the Star Dodger type in the the very short one from the Christmas Crackers booklet. That's the the main thing I used to do. I, I used to fiddle around like that. I did once make a rudimentary conversation simulator using uh, the DK's Tronic speech synthesizer RSX code. That was fun. But my main thing of coding for games was GAC. I used to code a lot of adventure games using GAC. This is the first text adventure that I've tried to do in BASIC, which is why we're having so many problems. But yeah, I used to code just not real games, you know? So, what I've now done is uh, quickly check. But we need to... Yeah. I just need to make sure that this is going to work. So... Yeah. Have I considered doing a top five adventure games video? Yes, I have. And at one point I will do that. Probably not too far in the future. Right. Um, we need to now work out why this... Edit one zero five zero one. 
goes with 12,000, so that's done. If left string b string four equals core, then go to 3180, else go. We can just 3180. I think that will work now. Save episode, because I don't want it to have an error message afterward, after we've uh, put the power in. So, that should work. So, yeah, save episode. One, uh, save. We should still be on about 21k. Yeah, that's fine. Run. We're getting somewhere now. This is a, this is getting somewhere. So, let's start the game again. Go down. Get multi-tool. Get core. Perhaps we should put in a get all command at some point, but not right now. Out. Southwest. Search. Wreckage. West. Use multi tool on wires. Had the wires using the multi tool. West. Um. Multi-tool on wires. Exam multi-tool. Yes, repairing a multi-tool problem. So this is a good indicator if you looked at it. Uh, use crowbar on hatch. Tap the crowbar. Inventory. Still carrying a multi-tool, crowbar, and a power cart. We're doing all right now. Get junk. Exam faults. All off because there's no power. Yeah. Uh, drop junk. Use core on housing. Put the pair. Heard a hollow thud resonate through the ship as if the emergency bulkheads had retracted. Exam faults. The uh, internal door indicator lights are shining green. Save as test. We're doing all right now. Inventory. What we're carrying? Multi tool and a crowbar. Oh. We can now go north, east, south, and west. And down. So let's go north. In the computer room. We go south. We go south again. In the transporter room. We can go east. Um, we can't go anywhere from. The cargo bay. Why can't we go anywhere from the cargo bay? That's not right. So, we have an error. We cannot get out of the cargo bay. Quit. Yes, we want to quit. Actually, no, we don't want to quit. We want to... Right, we've got to go back to the uh, data because... Uh, we're supposed to be able to get out of the cargo bay. There should be some exits. Hi, Retro and Lem. Where are <laughs> I can't believe we didn't put in any exits from the cargo bay. Surely we knew we were going to go in there at some point. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, we've got to find in the data commands a, a room that just has zeros for its <laughs> exits. Right, room t so we're looking at room 14. Right, so room 10 is there. 11, 12, 13, 14. 2130. It's a line of. Yeah. 2120. 10, 11, 12, 13, which is the transporter room. 14, 2130. Edit 2130. So, we needed to be able to go north, which is room uh, exit 1 to room 10, so that shouldn't be 0, it should be 10. We need to be able to go west from this room, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7, which would be room 13 rather than 0, the rest can be that. So, hi Steve, do you think you can get Zoe to twerk like Novabug, lol? No. I do not, I do not twerk. I am a respectable young lady, I do not twerk. 
I uh, cannot back that up. I cannot back that statement up. <laughs> okay, now here's a thing that we have an issue with now. We've just uh, edited the RUM data. Sorry, the exits data from a RUM. So we have... Um, Nova Book did not say he was a respectable young lady and therefore would not twerk. I do not believe that. <laughs> so we've just changed the exit code, which means that we can't now use our, our saved game. Where's my pen gone? And we can't use our saved game because, if you remember correctly, from when we did the save game code, our save game code saves the current state of all of the exits. So we can't now uh, use that save game, otherwise we won't be able to get out of that room again. So that's a bit of an issue, but uh, we saved uh, the, ga the game code, so we have to start again now. So if we run, start, and just go through it again. So get multi tool. Get core. Go up and east and out. Zoe is more respectable than mine. Yes, of course I am. What you take me for? Search wreckage. Got the crowbar. So use multi tool on wires. Prepared the wires. Sorry to lower the tone, Zoe. <laughs> You haven't, don't worry. Use multi tool on wires. East. Use crowbar. I do not twerk. Hatch. Because as you remember, when we're using the use command, all we're looking for is what is the first thing and what is the last thing, not what is in the middle. So I can say use crowbar. I do not twerk. Hatch. And it will work. The code will work. <laughs> because that's how we've coded it. Get junk. Drop junk. Put core in housing. Because that will work as well. Hollow third. Do, 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 do. Bang. There we are. Exam. Faults. For indicator lights are working. Main internal door lights are shining green. Go up. So we can now go south into the transporter room, east into the cargo bay, the exits are north and west. North. So we're now back in, in where the four hatches save, file name of test. There we go. So we've now saved and we're doing okay. So we've got another puzzle in. So now we can get into the computer room. We need to fix the computer. Make sure Jen isn't stored in the transporter buffer. She's not stored in the transporter buffer. She's stored in the attic where she is building a model railway. And uh, if you check her um, YouTube channel, her, she has regular updates about the progress on her model railway on every Friday. It's called Building the Loft Layout. She's doing well. Uh, right. So now we've got, let's think, we've now got into the computer room. We need to be able to fix the computer. And I want to do an interesting logic puzzle about the computer, but I'm not sure how to put it together. So um, it's half past nine now. We've been going for an hour and a half. We've fixed a fair amount of issues and we've added in an extra puzzle. So... Hmm. I'm actually uh, thinking we can't progress until I've got this logic puzzle worked out. And I was hoping to have it worked out by the time we got to this point. Because I want it to be something more interesting than just use X on Y. And I haven't been able to fin finish thinking about it. I haven't worked this puzzle out in my head properly yet. You might remember I've been uh, going for uh, re-election and uh, that's taken up an awful lot of my time and an awful lot of my brain power, <laughs> as you might expect. But I finish on 
finish the election on Thursday. At 10 o'clock, the polls close and we'll get to counting and see what's going on. And maybe I'll still be elected, maybe I won't. But either way, I'll be refreshed for next week. So I'm thinking we call it a night at this point so that by then... Oh, hi, OSG. Uh, at the moment, I'm a local councillor. Uh, I'm a politician, uh, local government. Uh, I'm up for re-election. I've been in the uh, position for four years and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm doing my best. I think I've done a very good uh, job for the community, but uh, it's time for the community to, to decide, you know. So on Thursday, that's what's happening, which means uh, a lot of my time and uh, brain power and energy is taken up with that. And as a result, I haven't been able to think this puzzle through. I really want something to be nice. I don't want to have to just do it as like use X on Y to fix the computer when we've just done that with the wiring. So I'm going to say we need to finish here and it's going to be a multi-part thing. You're probably able to turn some uh, gears, twist things, uh, realign stuff and fix a fuse and stuff like that. A multi-part thing. But I haven't worked it out and I don't want to rush it. So I'm going to say let's save it there and stop for the night. We've just saved the game. Save episode one. Uh, da, 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 cut. Turn it off and on again. No, we're not going to turn off and on the spaceship computer. It's not Windows. <laughs> uh, we'll leave it there. But you know turning it off and then on again always works. Doesn't work with you. <laughs> no, if you turn me off, it's off for good. Remember, that's what the judge said. <laughs> so I'm going to say, guys, we save it there. We've got a lot of good progress. Things are working really well. Um, yeah. And we'll see how we go for next time. Right. Yeah, well, let's save it there. So... If I bring myself back up on the main screen. The uh, the game is coming together now. We know exactly what's going on. I just uh, I did just save that to hard drive as well as to the uh, virtual disk. So let's close that down. And I will grab a copy of it and make it available to you guys. Uh, compress. So we've got a lot of good progress. I, I really think we have got a lot of good progress here. Uh, I'll just make that available. Where is it? Try to talk and do stuff at the same time. It doesn't always work. The one dot DSK. Uh, zip. So this will be the end of episode five, but we're getting some really good progress here. Arbiter one, episode five dot zip. Uh, old style gaming OSG it says, how many PS2 games have I got? Uh, whew, that is a good question. Um, give me one second to grab the Dropbox link there. Um, I th think we're close to about 1,700. I will quickly check in a moment what my, uh, what, what my, um, catalogue says for that. So let's quickly do that. Guys, uh... And see them, that's why I ask. Yes, I collect PlayStation 2. There's the link to download that. So uh, quickly let me bring up. Where is my gaming list? Game collection catalogue. That's what I want. Whoa. Okay, I don't know how much of this you'll be able to see when I bring it up on screen. Right, here is my game collection list, and I'll just scroll quickly down to, um, where is it? Where's my PlayStation list? Here we are, PlayStation games. I have 1,683 PlayStation 2 games out of what we think is 2,253 total titles. Um, it's, it, it might not be... 2,253 titles in total. It may be less than that, but uh, if that is the t the amount, then it's uh, about 74.7% of the collection is in this room. And uh, if I bring this back up, if I bring myself back up on the mix screen, you can see 
some of them here. That's, uh, this is S, they're all in alphabetical order. S, T, goes down to T over there. there. Further over into the other side of the room are the, uh, uh, everything from T to Z. Above, behind the screen that uh, I can't show you, is a massive amount of them. A, a to all sorts. Uh, it's huge. The collection is massive. PlayStation 2 is a huge collection, like thousands, over 2,000 titles. And uh, OSG says, what are you missing? Maybe I can help. I have quite a few. I'm missing about... Uh, well, I've got 1,683 out of 2,253, so I'm missing about 500 and odd. It's, it's still massive amounts that I need. I'm just trying to find the, the PlayS2 list where it's talking about this. Uh, remaining to collect 635 titles. I can't list all the ones that I don't have because I don't know what they are. There are several of the uh, Phoenix games... Uh, weird uh, titles. Uh, um, I've got stuff like Mouse Police and things like that. But I know that they put out a load of their PS1 titles on PS2 under different titles and I don't know what those different titles are. There's a load of stuff from Midas that I don't have. I've got most of the major stuff because it's fairly easy to track them down but there are still some uh, basketball and uh, things like that myself that I don't have. It's really difficult. It's a, it's a really enjoyable collection, though. I, I really do love uh, collecting for PS2 because there's so much really good stuff. And like you say, OSG, yeah, it's cheap. Most of this stuff is cheap as hell because no one's interested in it apart from people like me who want a full set or had a game when they were younger that, for whatever reason, it's they don't have anymore. But no one else remembers it, so it's going to be fairly cheap or, in some cases, really, really expensive. Some of this stuff that I don't have is expensive as all hell. And the only reason for that is limited print run. No one actually wants it, but there were so few of them made that, yeah, they're, they're going to turn up and uh, they're going to be expensive when they turn up. It's just one of those things. Uh, yeah, uh, I was just saying that you see them everywhere at boot sales and charity shops. Yes, you do, but mostly these days I'm finding FIFAs. I've already got all the FIFAs. I got them first to get them out of the way when they were five pence each. CEX was selling PS2 at one point at five pence if you wanted some of the more more mainstream titles. So I grabbed loads of them and I'm glad I did because they're about 50 pence to 75 pence now. <laughs> so it all adds up but most of this collection I've got here and it's just so much so much fun but so cheap to collect for that I really haven't spent a huge amount on it. But anyway guys we're off track now. We've got a good game here. It's working pretty well. I'm really enjoying making it. I hope you are too. I'm exhausted from the election campaign. That's why we're cutting it short by about 20 minutes today. So next week, we're going to get that logic puzzle put in. And then that will lead on to another set of fun, interesting logic puzzles that uh, can then be used to progress to the second part of the game. And that's the bit that is not on the map. Because... That's the map so far. We've seen, we've been in pretty much every room on that map now. There is a second part to the game. And it's going to be uh, a bit fun. And it's going to involve uh, a lot of cool sci-fi stuff. But we have to get there first. And that means doing that logic puzzle. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this. And if you did, remember to share it with your friends. So that they'll see how to program a game too. Thank you, OSG. I hope I get re-elected too. Got my fingers crossed. Good night, everyone. I'll see you next week. Hopefully we'll progress into part two of the game, which will be a lot of fun. See you next time. How do I turn this off again? Oh, yes. See you next time.